Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you what software I use to record my screen when I'm on my Mac so I can make YouTube videos. I use a program called I Show You. This is it, it's now known as I Show You Classic because they've brought out a I Show You HD and an I Show You HD Pro. But I haven't tried them, I've only got this version. I'll just show you what settings I like to use in it. On the left here you can see there's presets, now there's 1080p and 720p, which are obviously HD, but I don't like really using them ones, I use the one that says iMovie 08 full, because it's just the same as the one up here, but I can import it straight into iMovie and I don't have to convert it to play around with it properly in iMovie, it just works straight away. These are the settings I'm using at the moment. Obviously I can't really show you them because I'm recording using it now. But basically I always have tick to record microphone audio. It's because I use my webcam for the audio. Uh, the record system audio, you can select that. I don't have that on at the moment, but you can do if you want to. Audio quality, I always put it on custom and then select mono because I've only got one microphone on the top of this webcam. So if I choose stereo, it sounds really washed out. So I use uh, mono and then it, I make sure that it comes out of each speaker on your computer exactly the same. Microphone input, just choose whatever your microphone is or webcam if you're using a webcam. Microphone monitor, when I'm previewing only because you don't want that to be on when you're recording because that basically means when you talk you can hear yourself coming through your speakers. So I only have that on preview only. System audio monitor, I have that while previewing and recording but I don't really use it in recording but I just keep it on anyway. Normal frame rate on 30, anything around 30 will do. Scale 100 and I always bring the quality right up to max. Compression, Apple Intermediate Codex seems to work good for me. Mouse recording and I always keep that one on with each frame as it is captured because I've had problems with software in the past when it doesn't record the mouse actually on the video. Mouse clicks I don't, I don't keep because you can probably hear my mouse and right clicks, I don't have a sound on that one either. Capture size, I always keep it to the full desktop so I can zoom in and out. I zoom in and out using the control and then my wheel on my mouse. And then here's a countdown. That basically when you've, just before you start recording, it'll do a countdown on the screen to make sure that you're ready. I just have that on five. And then these are the extra options. Show capture guide when not recording. I don't really need that because I'm using the full screen anyway and the same on when recording and follow mouse cursor that's uh, it I'm not using the smaller aspect ratios at the moment but that's basically so it'll do this it'll follow your mouse around if you've got a smaller one and then slow capture it when mouse not moving I don't do that because if I'm showing a video on the screen I want it to be able to show that properly and now it does cost I think this I show you classic is $20 but I'm going to put a demo on my website, that'll be the HD version. I'm pretty sure it's got a, around the same layout as this one. So it, sh it should look very similar. So that'll be on sosguru.com. Alright, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe.